Today I will compare Windows 11 and Ravi OS. What is Ravi OS? Ravi OS is modified version of Windows 10 and 11. But is it so good? Or probably Windows 10 and 11 is much faster because they get the latest updates. Today I will find out. So let's get started. So guys, let's get into it. We are in the Windows 11 and first of all, I want to say that I'm run Windows 11 in virtual box. Yes, I have Intel Core i5 processor of 8th generation. I allocated 4 cores and 8 gigabytes of RAM. But don't worry because we're going to do the similar test in Revy OS. First of all, let's launch CPU-Z. Click on it. In VirtualBox, I allocated only 4 cores and here you may see 4 cores and 4 threads. Now I'm going to start the benchmark and we will see how much it will score on a single core and on a multi-core. Click on Bench CPU. Now we need to wait a few seconds. So we have a final result and as you can see, on the multi-core it scored 1322 points and on a single core 374 points. Now we can close this window. This time we will open AIDA64. Click on it. I will open it in full screen. Here you may see benchmark. In our case we will select CPU Queen. Click on it and of course let's get it started. As a final result we get 30,496 points. Now we can close this window and run the last test. I know it's not the newest version, Signbench R15, but I think it will be more than enough to understand how much it will affect the performance of processor. Let's click on it and run Signbench. Simply to understand, in this test it will use 100% of processor and after that we will see how much it scored in multi-core. And of course I will repeat the same process in Revy OS. Click on CPU. As you can see we have 4 cores and now we just need to wait until the test will finish. In Windows 11, Intel Core i5 processor of 8th generation H processor scored 440 points. So now we can close this window and we finally are in Revy OS. So let's run CPU-Z. Click on it. We have the similar specification and base frequency. I will click on Bench and start the test. Voila! In multi-core it scored 1571 points and on a single core 424 points. I just want to remind you that in Windows 11 the result was about 1300 points and on a single core 374 points. Yep, that's impressive because we get much better result. So let's proceed to the next test, AIDA64. Click on it. One more time I will open it in full screen, click on benchmark and select CPU Queen. As a final result in Revy OS, you may see 31,161 points. In Windows 11, result was about 30,000, so we have 1,000 points more, and that's good. And of course, let's run the last test for today, I mean Signbench R15. Click on it, let's get it started. If you take a close look, you may see the previous result, 440 points. So let's run it again. Click on it. I cannot say for sure, but it looks like it worked much faster. And as you can see, it almost get 500 points. That's impressive. We have plus 50 points. In my opinion, that's a good result. So follows my conclusions. As you can see, Ravi OS showing much better result in each program, in CPU-Z, in AIDA64, and of course in Signbench R15. If the performance and speed is the most important things for you, definitely you could try Ravi OS. Yep, if we're talking about performance, Ravi OS is much faster than Windows 11. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know how to run Atlas OS from your USB stick, yes, it's possible. I recommend to click here on this video.